Okay, welcome to a brief tutorial on doing pressure conversions. So when we're dealing with gases, we always have to think about pressure. And when we think about pressure, we have to think about units. So some of the common units for pressure are tors, millimeters of mercury, ATMs or atmospheres, pascals, and kilopascals. What's important is that we know how to convert back and forth between these units. So in order to convert, we just need conversion factors. And those conversion factors are found in the following manner. 760 torr equals 760 millimeters of mercury. That's a one-to-one. -one. 760 millimeters of mercury equals one ATM. One ATM equals 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. And 1.01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals is equal to 101.325 kilopascals. You'll notice that they're all really centered on the notion of atmospheric pressure, because each of these is what we would call standard atmospheric pressure. Um, if you think back to our old notion of STP, standard temperature and pressure, each of these that's listed is your standard pressure or normal atmospheric at sea level. Any one of these is equal to any other one of these. So the, um, you, can, you can go from tor straight to ATM. You can go from millimeters of mercury straight to kilopascals. You don't have to do any intermediate steps. Let's practice a couple. So we're given a pressure value of 3.56 ATMs, and we'd like to know how many tor that is. It's a simple factor label setup. And we know that 350, we start with our given 3.56 ATMs. We know that 1 ATM is equal to 760 tor, so it's straight multiplication. Okay, so what we get is 2,705.6 tor. Be careful with your sig figs on these. Remember that conversion factors do not count for or against your sig figs. The only thing you should be relying on for sig figs is the original number that you were given. So we have three sig figs to play with, therefore our final answer would be 2,710 tor. Okay, let's do another one. We have a value of 97.62 kilopascals, and we would like to know what that is in ATMs. Again, it's a simple one-step factor label. So we're starting with our given, as always, 97.62 kilopascals. Plugging in our units with kilopascals on the bottom to cancel, ATMs on the top to end up in, and plugging in our conversion values. Now it's a matter of straight up multiplication and division. And we get a value of 0.96343, etc., etc., ATMs. We have four sig figs to work with, so this is going to be 0.9634 ATMs. In other words, just a little bit below normal atmospheric pressure of 1 atm. Okay, we'll do one more. We have 3.428 times 10 to the fifth pascals, and we'd like to know what that pressure reading is in millimeters of mercury. As always, we start with our given, and then we're going to plug in our units to cancel and end up in. We have our units in, and we know that 760 millimeters of mercury is equal to 1.8. 01325 times 10 to the fifth pascals. So it's a simple matter of multiplication and division. Note that your 10 to the fifths are going to cancel as well, so you'll eliminate those from the problem. We get a raw answer of 2571.211448 millimeters of mercury. We have four sig figs to work with based on this. So this is going to end up as 2,571 millimeters of mercury as a final answer. Okay, so just remember to think back to your relationships. These are all based on standard atmospheric pressure. And the important place for these is, especially in doing partial pressure problems, where you may be given pressures in multiple units. So let's try one of those. So here we're being asked to find total pressure. We've been given pressure 1, pressure 2, and pressure 3. <coughs> but because somebody who wrote the problem is really mean, we've been given all three pressures in three different units. So we're going to have to convert them. 
it doesn't matter what units you convert into unless that is specified in the question. So I have a personal fondness for Tor, and that's also the thing that has our limiting number of sig figs. So I'm going to go ahead and convert everything into Tor. So I've set up each of my conversions. Here I have 0.973 ATMs. Um, in converting into TOR, knowing that 760 TOR is equal to 1 ATM, I get 739.48 TOR. For my third pressure, 104.5 kilopascals, I have the conversion factor of 760 TOR over 101.325 kilopascals. Then I get 783.8144584 TOR. Now I can add all three of my pressures together, and a quick word of caution. Make sure you do all your addition before you take sig figs. So remember, never take sig figs till the end. So we get a raw answer uh, for our total pressure of 2,343.290.4458 TOR. Because this is addition and subtraction, we can go as many decimals beyond the standard decimal place as we're in our least number. So we're actually able to go all the way to the decimal and this number becomes 2,343 TOR. So that would be our final answer for our total pressure. Okay, hope that's been helpful, and you should now be able to convert any units of pressure into any other units of pressure.